Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is International Master Benny Chang, and I'm going to be doing a five minute game once again. Um, so, yeah, hopefully the audio is good. I've been using my old computer again once again, and I'm just going to wait to see what happens. I guess I'm not playing any of these guys since they're playing a game right now. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, this is a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Benoni. No, 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 sorry, Bogo Indian. I keep saying Benoni for some reason. Yeah, it's a Bogo Indian, and I think that position is roughly equal. Well, I prefer white a bit in these lines just because of the bishop pair. And it's difficult for black to do anything except take on f3. Yeah, like that. Otherwise, white was able to play like d 2 or something. Um, you know, once it plays d5, I guess, you know, the position is not terrible. Just that's okay, well, my game is going to start. I'm going to just uh, start here. So again, playing 2470, uh, should be okay here, I guess. Let me see what what's to do. I guess play g6. I mean, I'll know what he's gonna do. I'm just gonna. Okay, okay, okay. I guess I'll play this move, <clears throat> and then I'll play d6 because against bishop c4, the best position for the pieces is usually like this because now it kind of covers the f7 square, and of course, if he plays like this, it means he's trying to get to there, which doesn't really do anything. Um, <clears throat> after this move, I think I can play d6 here, or I can play g5. Uh, both are okay, I think. But after he plays that move, I mean, I'm forced to play e5 now, just because now, I mean, he's going to be after this guy. I could play knight e5 also, but I think that playing e5 is, is actually okay in this position. Um, I think that a6 is probably decent here, and just force him back. I'm not quite sure what this guy is planning to do. So, you know, I'm going to be a bit surprised when he plays his moves, I guess. I guess I'll play b5. I don't see what, what's wrong with this. Yeah, I guess I'll play b4. I mean, I, I just don't know what he's going to do in this case because I think that I have a lot of space. And when a position like this, it's usually quite strong. <clears throat> and especially if I can just play early f5 like this, I think. I I mean, it might be a bit overextending, but uh, I just have such a fantastic, fantastic position here that... I think that I can probably do almost anything. But g6 is fine. Probably castle king side next move. Um, really, that move, it's uh, it's interesting. It means that he's preparing to take with pawn, but okay, okay, well, it takes a knight. So that's that's fine as well, I guess. A castle. Yeah, I mean, I think this position is fantastic for block. Um, I guess like the only thing I have to worry about is sometimes you go knight d4. He might do this some kind of uh, trickery. You could put this guy here first. Um, you know, I mean, position is like fantastic here. I feel like this is probably minus one um, position just because I have bishop here and I have a ton of other crap and I can just win the pawn here, I think. I mean, I think I can win the pawn, right? I don't know. It, it, lo it looks like, okay, well, well then. Yeah, so I mean, that guy just played like trash. Um, <clears throat> okay, so let's go for a three-man game again. Or, I mean, I'll play a 5 game as well. doesn't really matter which one. I'll just play another one. Just because that guy played really, really badly. Um, I mean, I can analyze it, but it doesn't really do anything. So, okay, we have a 3 game. This is going to be more fair, I think. This guy's a pretty good GM, I think, from what I've been told, or, or see. When I go D3, I usually just go G6 first, just because uh, that's usually what I do normally. Uh, now he goes like a, for some type of a close Sicilian-ish. I think this is probably the best way to continue. Now he's playing go for d4, and it's not really a move I can kind of prevent. I, I mean, I could prevent that move, kind of, but not really that easily. And after this, I feel like this is probably the best way to play against us. Uh, put bishop to a6. You no, know, this kind of structure is very, very strong. Um, I think that bishop a6, bishop a6 is good here, basically just to force something uh, in my in my opponent's position. Um, Okay, so let's see here. If I have d4, he can go c4. I can go knight f5 first to see what he's going to play. If he plays g4, that is unfortunate because I was hoping he would not play that move. But if he does this move, I believe I should just go knight h4. Because in this case, he can't really play knight f3 because he always has to watch out for uh, the move there. And uh, at this point in time, it's, um, I think it's probably best to put my rook here. So I'm playing that play f6 very soon. Um, I could play queen g3, maybe. Force the rook f3 or something. Um, I think that this move is probably okay for the most part. So bring queen back. And pretty much plan to play f6. 
It's not really a move he can stop, and of course he can't really play d4 either, because my bishop's on a6, which is quite strong in his own regard. Um, but f6 normally would just be a very strong move here anyway, just because you want to kind of open up the position if you can. And, uh, you know, my queen's guarding d5, it's a pretty good spot. Uh, you know, this d3 pawn's kind of weak. My e6 pawn's kind of weak as well, but I have doubled up, so it's not, no, not, 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 not that bad. Now, the thing is, it's actually pretty difficult to figure out what exactly I'm supposed to do in this position, just because there are a few really, really good, I guess, ideas he can do. Um, one thing I was looking at is that if he goes through this continuation, I can play rook takes here, and this is going to be kind of interesting to see how he plays this. If he plays queen f3, which is the move he will play, if I take this guy, I take this guy over first, takes back, takes go up, takes, and play takes d3 doesn't really work, so I think I should go down. But if I go down, then he kind of, um, this position is quite okay if I go down. So, I think that the only place I can go to is e7. And this is going to be kind of tricky. Not too sure how this is going to work, but, okay, so, um, unfortunately, I believe, even though I don't like this move, I think it's the best continuation here. It's kind of tough, actually. Uh, no time, so I'm going to choose my secondary option. Usually when you choose my secondary option, it's, it's a bad move. Um, this is probably going to be a bad move as well, just because he doesn't just take this, take this guy and take the rook. Yeah, that's, that's probably what he's going to do. And my position is probably, probably trash right now. So I can't take this guy because he takes this guy, and then it's really, really bad. So yeah, um, don't choose your secondary option. Always choose your first option. Because first option is usually correct, the second option is usually bad. Um, so my first option was to just take on d1, and I think that was the only move I can play. Um, and unfortunately, I did not. I chose my secondary option, and I'm probably lost in this case. I'm going to try to fight for a bit, but it should be over. Um, the only thing I can really do is, I mean, I can try this move. Takes, and then here, with e7, which is very, very likely. Get a free check, I guess. You know, checks is nice, but I think it's just it's it's over. Um, let me just take a take a free check. You know, might as well. Might as well take a free check. Um, queen here. I don't think it matters too much where I put this guy. He's basically won that guy, which is very very quick. Um, I think I'm just gonna resign. I think I'm just lost here. So uh, yeah, I give up here. So unfortunately, this game might play like trash as well. Um, I think my opening is fine. I think e5 is definitely too early. Maybe I shouldn't play f6. I'm not quite sure what else I could have done in that position. I just don't understand those positions very well. Um, you know, I think I was fine after f6. Like, but e5 definitely was pr probably too early because I don't think I should. Have, I don't think I had to play e5, but I wasn't too sure what my plan was, and unfortunately, stuff like that happens sometimes. So, thank you for watching. Um, fortunately, I finished the session 1-1. Yeah, that was my games again. Alright, well, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.